Congratulations on your decision to purchase the best touring motorcycle in the world. Your 2018 or later Honda Goldwing is the most sophisticated motorcycle Honda has ever produced. I've put together a list of the 20 essential things that I think every Honda Goldwing owner needs to know. Hey everybody, I'm Cruise Man, and over the years I've owned a lot of different motorcycles from Harleys to Kawasaki's, Suzuki's, and I've loved every one of them. But since 2006, I've owned and ridden more than four different Honda Goldwings. I've put more than 200,000 miles on Goldwings. I've ridden all over the country, and I've even rented and ridden Goldwings in other countries as well. And that's what we're going to talk about today, especially this new sixth generation Goldwing, which I currently ride a 2018 model. Now, I want to encourage you to watch this video to the very end, because at the end of the video, I'm going to give you a special discount code that's going to save you a ton of money over the life of your Honda Goldwing. It's also going to make life a lot easier for you. So please watch till the very end. Now, let's not waste any more time. Let's get started with the show. You start your Goldwing by turning the motorcycle electrical system on, then pressing the start button on the right hand control. But there are two ways you can turn on your Goldwing electrical system. The first and the most common method is by using the ignition switch located on the center panel switch. Your smart key must be in range for the Goldwing electrical system to function. Typically, the smart key should be within six feet of the Goldwing. Turning the ignition clockwise performs three functions. If the handlebars are locked, a clockwise turn will unlock the handlebars first, but the electrical system will remain off. If the handlebars are unlocked, a clockwise turn will turn the electrical system on. The ignition system is on when the headlights are illuminated. In this position, you can start the engine by pressing the start button. The start button is located on the right hand control. If the motorcycle is on, a clockwise turn will place the Goldwing into accessory mode. When the radio operates, but all the lights are off, the motorcycle is in accessory mode. The engine will not run in accessory mode. Therefore, if the engine is running and you turn the switch clockwise, it will kill the engine and place the Goldwing into accessory mode. Now you should note it's not recommended to leave the Goldwing in accessory mode for an extended period of time as it could cause the battery to drain. The ignition switch performs two functions when turned counterclockwise. A single turn counterclockwise turns the electrical system off. If the engine is running, it will turn off the engine. A subsequent turn counterclockwise will attempt to lock the handlebars. We'll talk more about locking the handlebars later in this video. The other method for turning your Goldwing electrical system on is by using the start button. A single long press of the start button will unlock the handlebars if they are locked and turn on the electrical system. A second press of the start button will then start the engine. Now, if your motorcycle will not start, make sure your smart key is close by. It could be out of range. If your smart key is in range, check to make sure that it is turned on. If you have a manual transmission model, make sure the Goldwing transmission is in neutral or the side stand is up Your Goldwing saddlebags and trunk are made of strong ABS plastic and are designed to last for many years. However, care should be taken when closing the saddlebags and the trunk lid. The saddlebag and trunk lids have electrical sensors to detect if one or more is open, and an indicator on the Goldwing dash will inform you of this. It is never recommended, nor is it necessary, to slam the lids shut. Always lower the trunk lid until you feel the latch connect. 
Once it's closed, you can press down firmly on the bottom edge of the trunk to ensure it's fully latched. You may also want to simultaneously pull back on the passenger backrest. On the saddlebags, press the lid shut until you feel the latch connect. Then press firmly to make sure it is fully latched. If you're riding and you see that one of your saddlebags or trunk is not fully latched, you can usually press the passenger backrest to fully latch the trunk. On the saddlebags, a light tap will usually do the trick. However, only do this when the motorcycle is stopped. Never try to do this while you're in motion. When opening saddlebags, the lid may sometimes stick and not pop open when you press the switch. Try pressing in on the saddlebag lid while pressing the switch. Your 2018 Honda Goldwing probably came with just one smart key from Honda. Now later models came with two smart keys and you may want to add a second smart key if you only have one just in case this one gets lost or damaged. If you do purchase an additional smart key for your Goldwing, it will have to be programmed and paired to your Goldwing for it to function properly. Now, I do have a complete video in my 2018 Plus Honda Goldwing maintenance video series that shows how you program your smart key to your Goldwing. Your Goldwing is always looking to see if a smart key is in range. And when the smart key is within about six to eight feet of your Goldwing, the saddlebags and trunk will unlock. The electrical system will be activated at this time. When the smart key is out of range, the Goldwing cannot be started and the saddlebags and trunk will automatically lock. You may wish to turn off the smart key to preserve the battery life when the Goldwing is in storage or will not be ridden for an extended period. The smart key can be turned off by pressing the large Honda logo button until you see a single flash of the red LED. Press and hold the button down again to turn the smart key on. You'll see three flashes of the red LED indicating that the key is on. Your smart key is powered by a single CR2032 battery which should remain powered for 18 to 24 months. The battery is easy to change and the procedure is covered in the 2018 Plus Goldwing Maintenance Video Series. Your Honda Smart Key came with a small paper tag attached. This tag contains a very important code that can be used to manually start the motorcycle in the event of an emergency or if your smart key becomes damaged, lost, or stolen. If you purchased a 2018 Plus Goldwing and did not receive this tag, you may need to contact Honda to get a replacement tag. It's a good practice to take a photo of this tag with your smartphone so that you always have the code with you as long as you have your phone. Do not leave the tag on the smart key or on the motorcycle. There is an emergency procedure for starting your Goldwing without the smart key. So, for example, should this key become lost or damaged or stolen, or maybe just the battery dies, or perhaps it malfunctions, there is a way to start your Goldwing. I do have a free YouTube video that shows you all the steps necessary to start your Goldwing in an emergency. The center pocket on your Goldwing, often referred to as the glove box, offers additional storage for smaller items. It is also where you can connect your smartphone to the Goldwing through a USB connection. It should be noted that when riding long distances, the temperatures inside the center pocket can become quite hot from rising engine heat. Honda provides a foam insulator for your smartphone. It may be a good practice to remove your smartphone during fuel stops to allow the phone to further cool down. Also, you should never store any items in the center pocket that could melt or be damaged by heat. 
If you notice that the door on the center pocket is difficult to open, which can be a common problem, first, try pressing on the right side of the button instead of the center of the button. A rapid, firm press also seems to provide better results. You can lock your handlebars for additional security when your Goldwing is parked. To lock the handlebars, first turn off the engine if it's running. Turn the handlebars to the full left stop position. Now turn the ignition switch counterclockwise to lock the handlebars. A single beep indicates that the handlebars are successfully locked. Three beeps followed by a series of short beeps indicates the lock did not engage. To unlock the handlebars, simply turn the ignition switch clockwise. Your Honda Smart Key must be in range for the Goldwing to lock or unlock the handlebars. If you look closely at the front of the left side passenger grab rail, you'll see what appears to be a small button. This is actually Honda's attempt at providing you with a place to hang your helmet when the motorcycle is parked. The system requires the use of the helmet hanger, which should be stored in your left saddlebag. To use the helmet hanger, locate the small silver helmet lock release at the top of the left saddlebag. You will notice that the helmet hanger lock pops out of the left passenger grab rail. The lock works by forcing a locking pin through the hole in the end of the helmet hanger. You place the helmet hanger in between the seat and the passenger grab rail as shown. Then press the lock in to secure the helmet hanger. So the idea is to thread the end of the helmet hanger through the D-ring on your helmet, then lock it in place. In actuality, this is a very poorly conceived mechanism because it requires that your helmet make contact with the painted bodywork on your Goldwing. Plus, it's just not a very elegant solution. A better solution is from a company called Lidlocks. The Lidlocks mechanism replaces the handlebar weights on the end of your handlebars. A small key can be used to unlock the Lidlocks. You can then use the Lidlocks helmet hanger to secure your helmet to the end of your handlebars, and you can install one on each side of your Goldwing to hang a helmet on each side. I'll put a link in the description of this video where you can order Lidlocks from Amazon if you're interested. Placing your Honda Goldwing onto its center stand is something that scares many new Goldwing owners. After all, the Goldwing is a heavy motorcycle and there's always the fear of dropping the bike. Using the center stand is essential for many maintenance tasks. It does not require strength so much as it requires good technique. I have a free YouTube video that shows you how to successfully place your Goldwing onto the center stand. I'll put a link on the screen and in the description of this video. And while we're on the subject of my YouTube channel, let me remind you that I have more than 450 videos, many of them related to the Honda Goldwing. My YouTube videos are completely free, and by subscribing to my channel, you can be notified whenever I come out with a new video. Please click that little subscribe button under the video, and don't forget to use the bell icon to tell YouTube that you want to be notified of my new videos. I also operate a Honda Facebook group specifically for 2018 plus Honda Goldwing maintenance issues. This is a great place to ask any questions you might have about your 2018 plus Honda Goldwing or to help others with their questions. By subscribing to my YouTube channel and joining my Facebook group, you become part of this rapidly growing online Goldwing community. Your 2018 Plus Goldwing comes with Hill Start Assist or HSA. HSA will prevent the Goldwing from rolling when on an incline or decline, allowing you time to release the brakes and apply the throttle. 
Now the way this works is I'm on a slight incline right now on my driveway. The way you use hill start assist is you pull the brake lever in and the second time you pull it in twice and the second time you pull on it really hard and you'll see the hill start assist light come on. Okay, I'm going to stop now. I'm going to put on the brake and I'm going to put on a second time. Now the hill start assist light is on. It's white, not yellow. And if I take my hand off the brake, I'll put both my hands up, you'll see the bike won't roll backward. And I've got five seconds to roll on the throttle before the bike starts rolling. So that's how hill start assist works. It's a great feature of the new Goldwing. HSA only becomes active after you've ridden the motorcycle past three miles per hour. Therefore, it is not active when you first start the motorcycle. HSA is deactivated when you turn off the motorcycle. Therefore, it cannot be used as a parking brake. The fuel filler is located just in front of the seat. To release the fuel filler lid, you must first open the side pocket door on the right side of the motorcycle. You cannot open the side pocket door unless the smart key is within range of the Goldwing. You'll find another small button at the top of the side pocket. This button will release the fuel filler lid. You can now access the fuel tank cap. Your Goldwing engine is designed to run on 87 octane fuel. Your Goldwing engine will run with fuel containing no more than 15% ethanol. You should never use E85. Your rear view mirrors can be folded in for storage or to perform some maintenance tasks. You should take caution to never ride your motorcycle with the mirrors folded in. The ends of the mirrors can inadvertently come into contact with the brake or the clutch levers. This could cause injury to the rider or damage to the motorcycle. Your Goldwing has four different ride modes. Tour is the default mode, followed by Rain, Econ, and Sport. You can change the ride mode using the mode switch on the right hand control. Changing the ride mode will affect the throttle response, traction control, transmission shift points on DCT models, and suspension dampening. You can change the ride mode while in motion, but you must first let off the throttle for a few seconds. Tour mode is the default mode when you start your motorcycle and offers a comfortable all-around riding experience for commuting or long-distance touring. Sport mode has a quicker and more powerful engine feel, harder braking, and harder suspension dampening characteristics than with tour mode. Econ mode has a much gentler feel than tour mode. DCT models will shift at a lower engine RPM to improve fuel economy. Econ mode is good for commuting and city driving and will offer fuel savings. Rain mode offers a more gentle engine feel than tour mode and softer suspension dampening. Your Goldwing audio system can play music from a variety of sources, including built-in FM AM, Sirius XM, USB devices like thumb drives, and Bluetooth devices such as iPods, iPads, or iPhones. Sirius XM Radio requires the addition of an XM antenna and a subscription to Sirius XM service. 2021 and later Goldwing models come with the XM antenna installed from the factory. You can toggle between audio sources using the source button on the left hand control. To mute the audio, press and hold the source button until you hear the audio muted. To unmute the audio, press the volume up or down switch. You can toggle between the Goldwing built-in speakers and Bluetooth headsets using the audio button on the center panel switch. To pair your Cardo or Cena Bluetooth headsets to the Goldwing audio system, watch my video on pairing Bluetooth headsets. For more information on using Apple CarPlay, watch my Apple CarPlay video.
it's a good practice to check your engine oil level on a regular basis. You do this using the dipstick on the right side of the engine. Honda recommends checking your oil level with the bike on level ground. So technically you should be sitting on the bike, but you want the bike in an upright position on level ground and then check your oil level. You should only check the oil when the engine is warm. You should let it warm up between 5 to 7 minutes and then shut off the engine and allow it to cool for another 3 to 5 minutes before checking the oil. After the engine is cooled, place the dipstick back into the opening but don't screw it in. Just let it sit flush and then pull it back out and check the oil level. Now if the oil is below the low line on this dipstick, uh, you don't have enough oil, you probably could start by adding maybe half a quart and check it again. And of course, if it's above that high mark, you probably have too much oil in the engine. There are some helpful tips for washing your Goldwing. The Goldwing windshield returns to the lowest position when the ignition switch is off. However, you may find it helpful for the windshield to remain in the fully up position when washing the bike. Raise the windshield to the full up position with the Goldwing turned on or running. Now keep holding the switch up while turning off the ignition. When you release the switch, the windshield will remain in the up position. Take extra care when cleaning the clear dash lens and the windshield. These polycarbonate surfaces can easily be scratched and require special care and attention. I have a short video with some tips on caring for the clear dash lens and I'll put a link in the description of this video. Refrain from using harsh detergents like household dishwashing liquids. While these will not damage the paint, they can remove paint protection such as waxes or spray coatings. Another important tip is to avoid using a pressure washer. Pressure washers can force water into switches causing them to prematurely fail. If you do use a pressure washer, maintain a safe distance from the Goldwing and only use a low pressure fan spray tip. Using a foam cannon to pre-wash a Goldwing is fine. Like any other motorcycle, your Honda Goldwing requires regular maintenance. If your motorcycle is brand new, it's a good idea to check all fluid levels yourself. There have been reports of Goldwings delivered with low levels of oil or final drive fluid. Now you can take your motorcycle to an authorized Honda dealer for service, or you can perform most regular maintenance tasks yourself in your garage with basic tools. Performing your own maintenance will not void your warranty. However, it's a good practice to keep good records of all maintenance performed. Honda produces a service manual for about $175 that goes into great detail on various maintenance and repair tasks. This manual is quite detailed and really written for a Honda service tech, not a novice home mechanic. A better reference for maintenance would be the 2018 Plus Honda Goldwing Maintenance Video Series. This collection of more than 70 videos will show you step by step in layman's terms how to keep your Goldwing in tip top shape. For just a little more than the cost of the service manual, these videos will pay for themselves in no time. A Honda dealer will charge over $300 in labor just to replace your air cleaner element. You can do this yourself in about three hours and save that money. But it's about more than just saving money when you perform your own maintenance. You can take the time to make sure the job is done correctly. Honda service techs make more money the faster they get your bike out the door. When you work on your own Goldwing, the incentive is to get the job done correctly. Replace the four bolts and don't forget those nylon washers that go in the bottom holes. To use cruise control, you must first turn on cruise control using the cruise main switch on the right hand control unit. You should see the cruise main indicator light on the left dash inside the speedometer. Cruise control is available when the speed of your Goldwing is between 20 and 100 miles per hour and is in 3rd to 7th gear. You can set the cruise control using the set decelerate switch. When a cruise control speed is set, 
the set light on the dash will illuminate. The resume accelerate and set decelerate switch can be used to increase or decrease the set speed in one mile per hour increments. For example, if you wish to increase your set speed from 60 to 65 miles per hour, you can tap the resume increase switch five times. The same principle works for the decelerate switch. If you press and hold the resume accelerate switch, your Goldwing will continue to accelerate until you release the switch. If you press and hold the set decelerate switch, your Goldwing will decelerate until you release the switch. The cruise set speed will be set to the speed at which you release the switch. To deactivate cruise control, you can do one of the four things. Tap the brake lever or brake pedal. Roll the throttle forward. Tap the upshift lever on DCT transmission models or turn off the cruise control main switch. Your Honda Goldwing Tour has a reverse and forward walking mode system to make it easier to maneuver the motorcycle when getting into or out of a parking space. Your Goldwing engine must be running and the transmission in neutral to use the reverse feature. While holding the brake lever or pedal, press the reverse mode switch. Now you can press and hold the shift down switch and the motorcycle will move in reverse as long as the button is pressed. You can also move the motorcycle forward slowly by pressing the shift up switch. To take the Goldwing out of reverse or walking mode, apply the brakes and press the reverse mode switch again. Or on DCT models, you can also press the neutral button. If you plan to transport your Goldwing on a trailer, you'll need to properly tie the motorcycle down to the trailer. You can use the rear tip over bars and the front engine guards as tie down points. Of course, you will have to remove the protective plastic covers. You should never use the handlebars as a tie down point on a 2018 or later Goldwing. Because of the unique front steering and suspension setup, this could cause serious damage to the steering spindle. I have a video showing how to install an aftermarket tie down bracket to the front of a Goldwing and I'll put a link to that video in the description. Now that almost wraps up my 20 essential things that I think every Honda Goldwing owner needs to know. I am going to give you one bonus tip at the end of this video after I give you that special code that I promised earlier. If you purchase my 2018 plus Honda Goldwing maintenance videos, not only are you going to save about $1,000 a year by doing your own maintenance yourself, but you can save 20% off the cost of those videos by using a special promo code only available in this video. Now, I'm going to put that code on the screen right now. And if you enter that at checkout, you'll get a 20% discount off the cost of the videos. Now, you can stream these videos as much as you want, and you can use anything. Use your cell phone, your iPad, your laptop, any computer, or you can even download the videos to your computer for viewing offline. And as new videos are added or existing videos get updated with new information, you get those at no additional charge. Now, this is a limited time offer. I'm going to put a link in the description of this video where you can order those videos. And don't forget that promo code. Now, let's get on with the bonus tip. The left side of your Goldwing dash can display a lot of valuable information. Honda calls this area Info 1 Display. Info 1 Display shows you your fuel level and three other different pieces of information. But did you know that each of these displays can actually display different information? The top LED can display the outside air temperature or the cruise control set speed. The middle LED can display your odometer, trip meter A, or trip meter B. The bottom LED can display your remaining fuel range or 
current tire pressure of your front or rear tires. To change the Info 1 display, you first move the little indicator arrow, we'll call this the cursor, to the display you want to change. You can move the cursor by pressing the selection button on the center panel switch. Each time you press the selection button, the arrow will move. When the arrow points to the air temperature gauge, press the set button to change the display to the cruise set speed. The gauge does not display the speed now because the motorcycle is not in motion. And the cruise control is not set. To return to air temperature gauge, press the set button again. Press the selection button to move the cursor to the center LED. If you press the set button, it will toggle the display between the odometer, trip meter A, or trip meter B. To reset trip meter A or trip meter B while they're displayed on the screen, press and hold the set button down. Once you're displaying the desired information, press the select button to move the cursor to the bottom display. Now you can press the set button to toggle between fuel range, front tire pressure, and rear tire pressure. The tire pressure indicators only function while the Goldwing is in motion, so right now we don't see any tire pressure display. Well, I hope you found the information in this video helpful and that you enjoy many happy miles of riding your sixth generation Honda Goldwing. If you like this video, please click that little thumbs up down underneath the video. It really does help our rankings with YouTube so that more people get to see this video. Now, if you have any questions about some of the topics we've covered in this video, please put those in the comments down below. And if you'd like more videos like this in the future, let me know that in the comments as well. Now we've covered 21 essential things in this video, but there's a whole lot more to cover about the 2018 Plus Honda Goldwing. And that's why you need to subscribe to my YouTube channel using that subscribe button down below. Don't forget the bell icon and check out my 2018 Plus Honda Goldwing maintenance videos. Thank you again for taking the time to watch this extremely long video, and don't forget to always ride safe.